Welcome to the Bubble Craps Tracker's new series called Tip of the Week. What we'll attempt, attempt in each week's segment is to share a quick point of interest that we hope will help in the playing of the game of craps. These tips will include both live game info along with the electronic versions. Of course, the Bubble Craps Tracker's documented and undocumented features will be shared. Please help in supporting this platform by clicking the subscribe button and by sharing both the Bubble Craps Tracker's app and channel with your friends. After viewing the segments, please give it a thumbs up and comment so that we can judge the viability of these messages. Thanks for your continued support. In today's episode, we will focus on the newly added features of deleting entries from the role editor and also the Firebet and Sharpshooter Bet reference detail tables. Since the Fire and the Sharpshooter Bets have not had any explanation in previous tutorials, I'll timestamp each of those sections below in the description. Now let's get started on editing the deleted entry from the current session's role history. Notice that I have preloaded the role history with an excess of 50 roles. I did that only so that I can move between the role history to place edits in various places. For today's demo, let's just pick this 7 right here in the middle of two additional 7s. So all I need to do, double click, I bring up the item. And if you notice on the screen here, we have the 7 there, we have an outside 7 as well, and in the middle is the issue, the issue that we're going to actually resolve. So what we'll do, we'll put a 0, 0 in there. Instead of having you know, two die rolls, we decide, oh, there's not supposed to be a die roll. So we just zero those out. We hit our Enter key, and it will slide the table together, and we now have one of the original 7s. The missing seven is gone, and here would have been the seven that would have been on the right. So now instead of having three across here, we only have two of these sevens. I click on my cancel key. This will redraw itself, and as you can tell, we've eliminated one of the three sevens. 50 rolls originally, we have 49, 49 rolls left up here. It also shows the session rolls of 49 down here. And since we're still in the same session, we have the history of 49 here. We then can continue with either editing, let's let's take a look at this 5-3, let's say that's supposed to be a 4-4. Four, four. We put the 4-4 four, four in, we hit our Enter key, cancel out of it, it'll run the screen for us again, and now our hard 8 has been replaced, or, or the 5-3 has been replaced by a hard 8. The number of rolls stay the same, of course, because we didn't delete, we only edited an entry. If you notice also here, we have a red 7, a blue 7, and a red 7, which are just winners and losers. So here the blue 7 would be our frontline winner. This would have been a 7 out. Let's take the point that we had a 4 right here. Let's add a 3, 1 into there. And now we had a winner, so that's the blue being drawn up on the screen, and we're back to our 50 rolls, as we should be. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. We have the, the editing out of the way, which was one of the first things we wanted to look at. Let's take a look at our fire bet and our sharp shooter bets. Since we had made the point of four right here, we can go ahead and click on the fire bet down here, which is a little icon with the flame. As I click on it, it shows me as a highlighted four being made. You can see that here we had the four, the five, the six, the eight, the nine, and the ten, which are all the possible configurations of points being made. Since the four was made, it is highlighted. In the case of the sharpshooter bet, I click on the little pistol right here, and we'll see that the four was made, it was made a total of one time. So we have once that the four was made, which in the case of a sharpshooter bet is a little different than a fire bet. For those of you that are not familiar with the two, let me explain the differences. In the case of a fire bet, we have to have between four and six distinctive points made. If I click back on the icon here, we, we see that we have these possible configurations of numbers, right? The four through the 10. And each one of those has to be made one time, or a minimum of one time, in order for the fire bit to pay out. We need a minimum of four, but of course, the more that we get, the bigger the payout will be. In the case of the sharpshooter bet, it doesn't make a difference how many times we hit a number, but for the payout to be made, we have to have at least three, and it just climbs from that point on. So as a quick demo here, let's go ahead and manually enter a, a point of uh, five. Oops, let's do a, two. 
and then let's make that and then we'll go with an eight we're going with a four four here with a six two and then let's do an eight again uh, we'll do a six two again with a five three and maybe one more time the uh, eight going a five three and a six two again so if you notice down here on our fire and sharpshooter bets, there is a difference, one being three, one being five. If we look at our fire bet again, it, told, it tells us that we have the four, the five, and the eight being made at least one time each. And here on the sharpshooter, we notice that the same points, the four, the five, and the eight have been made, but they've been made various times. The four and the five have all, only been made once each. Whereas the eight has been made a total of three times, which gives us a total of five points being made. So at least we have a payout on the uh, sharpshooter. We wouldn't get it yet on the fire bet because it has to be a total of four or a minimum of four. Yet the uh, sharpshooter has a payout value to us. Anyway, I hope that kind of clarifies mainly the... Uh, uh, the editing feature here where we had the deletion capability now 